Lamar Jackson requested a trade a month ago. And I don't he's know. He's still on the team. Yeah, he's, <laughs> well, yeah, he's still on the Ravens. Um, and that's our topic for today. That's all we're talking about um, because there's not much to talk about. I'm sure other stuff. Maybe we'll talk about Florida Atlantic. Wait. Uh, but besides that, welcome back, everybody. Another episode of the Win City Podcast. I feel like the last six episodes I haven't said the title of the thing. But that's yeah, what I believe you have. It's the Win City Podcast. Uh, you know, you clicked on this video, you're already a winner. I'm Rodney. That's Eric. We're back talking about Lamar Jackson. Well, talking about football. If anything else pops up, we'll talk about that. Here's the deal. I made a short like a month ago. Oh my God. There's a huge bug in my room. I knew you were going to say that. What is that? How big is it? <laughs> You're going distra- <laughs> to be distracted for so long. I just don't know what it is. Should I bring the cat? Mm-hmm. We're doing it. Making it audible. I'm keeping all of this in. What is that? Let me see. Let me see. It's like a stink bug. You I see that? Go closer. That is a stink bug. Correct. Don't I... kill it. It's going to stink up your room. What do you mean, don't? <laughs> Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to stay focused. Oh, God. Lamar Jackson. Cool. What did I say? Oh, I made a short a week ago that said... Um, Something's fishy because Vegas put out odds of teams that have the best chance to get them, and they don't do that unless they know something. And sure enough, a month later, we somebody comes out, is it Lamar, I forget who, and said, yeah, we requested a trade on March 2nd, which was exactly around the time that Vegas put out all those odds. And they've put, they said, oh, the Falcons, in the, and they put all these teams before the Panthers traded up for the first pick and before free agents were signed, so the odds are all shifted now. A couple things we need to talk about. Why is nobody signing him? Um, who? Where is he going to end up? Is he going to stay in Baltimore? Is he going to? Is he going to get traded? What is the compensation for an in prime MVP? Where do you, we start? <clears throat> Let's start. Um, what, I want to start where, like, why the Ravens like didn't really come out. Like, you know how Lamar just came out like a couple of days ago? It was like, I want to make things clear with my fans <clears throat> saying, oh, I, I requested a trade, even though I love Baltimore, right? Right. But the Ravens, like, kept that quiet for some reason. I wonder why they did that. They, they, they yeah, I feel like they gave, like, Raven fans hopes or, like, fake incentives of, like, we, we, we have Lamar for this season. Like, well, like, Har- that makes sense. Yeah, Harbaugh keeps coming out and saying, well, not coming out. He's doing his whatever, his meetings, and he's getting interviewed, and he's saying, we love Lamar, and we want him on the team, and, we're, and our offense is built around him, and blah, blah, blah. I'm saying all the right things. And I do think there's a part of Baltimore. No, there's. I would say the majority of Baltimore, meaning the organization thinks, well, sooner or later he'll sign the contract. And you can't, and that's what you, that's what you have to, like, I remember when Khalil Mack got traded three days before, John Gruden was like, we're doing everything we can to make sure Khalil Mack is a Raider for life. And then three days later, yeah. he was out right. the door. So that's just, you know, that's, that's just an organization, a pretty good organization, making sure that they keep everything internal and hoping for the best, but planning for maybe the worst. Um, I know we talked about, when Tyler Huntley came in for that playoff game, Pro Bowl quarterback Tyler Huntley, excuse me, for that playoff game and almost won it. I don't know if that one game was enough for them to think they could win without Lamar, but I do think that one game, mixed with a couple other times he's come in, at least gave them the leeway to say, you know what, Lamar, we love you. Go ahead and see if anyone's going to give you that contract. We don't want you to leave, but go ahead and look. And so far, nobody's offered him a dime. <clears throat> well, is it the contract or is it like the amount maybe the Ravens or other teams are asking for for Lamar? Because they have to trade him, right? Right. They have to trade him, but first, before that, they need a trade partner and they don't have one. Well, either two things are happening here. One, he's demanding way too much money. Like way too much. 
Or two, it's like the um, Carlos Correa of baseball where he has like an injury and no one wants him. <laughs> right, where he signs with he signs with the Panthers and he's like, actually, I'm going to go sign with this. Right. right. Um, I think he's probably asking for a lot of money. He probably wants to be the highest paid quarterback in the league, which, you know, he, that's what the – it's it's never the best quarterback that makes the most money. It's whoever's it's signing the, the day before the money gets paid for. Yeah. That didn't make any sense, but you get what I'm saying. What I think is happening, and I think it's pretty clear at this point, is that he's asking for a guaranteed contract, and nobody wants to do that. Now, nobody wants to do that for multiple reasons. The first reason is pretty obvious, because he gets hurt a lot. So you don't want to guarantee him money if he's not going to play. But the second mm-hmm. reason, I don't think... And people were like, well, how did Deshaun Watson, and how, why isn't Lamar... When, when, when something happens once... If nobody else ever does it again, then it's not setting a precedent. It just happened once because the Browns are stupid and crazy. And they were like, well, here, you can have the whole contract. If somebody says, okay, Lamar, we're going to give you a fully guaranteed deal, then that becomes, here's a term we learned in the pandemic, the new here normal. We go. The new normal. That's yep. what's going to happen. And I don't think any owner in the National Football League, besides the guy who owns the Browns, is comfortable giving any player, including oh, Patrick yep. Mahomes, who didn't get a guaranteed contract, <clears throat> guaranteed dollars the second you sign. So I think Lamar needs to understand that or he's not going to get traded and he's not going to get anything. I agree, 100% agree. If he doesn't realize that no one's giving him a fully guaranteed contract, then he's going to have to change something about his his new contract ideas but just say no one gives him his contract right like right now no it doesn't look like anyone's giving his contract does does he pull olivia on bell and sits out wow and like oh look colts you had four wins this year i think you need me or look falcons you had two wins this year i think you might need me or does he do like a debo samuel and plays for the team and maybe wins the super bowl and, and then maybe he goes, look at my stats, look how good I am. Now I want to trade. I'm worth the money. You know, I don't I, listen, I don't claim to be a psychologist, but I am going to try to be one right now. I think there's a part of Lamar Jackson that knows I struggle to stay healthy. It's not my fault. It's just the way my body <clears throat> was put together. Some people just get hurt a lot, and especially my play style. So I think he knows if I do a bet on myself here and get hurt, which right now is more than likely, I'm screwed. He's screwed. Yeah. It's, it's RG3 so you're- all over again, except it just happened three seasons later. So are you, if you were Lamar or what do you, what do you think Lamar would do? Sit out a whole year and, and see what teams need? Uh, you know, I think... Or sit out and hope a a quarterback gets hurt. Just say, oh, a team, just say Raiders. Jimmy G gets hurt. Oh, shoot, we need a quarterback. Uh, Lamar, are you available? Well, we'll we'll, we'll give you that money or something like that. Or do you think that might happen? Or do you think he's going to bank on that? I don't – the bug has now made it to the right wall. Um, I don't (laughs) – I think he's – I don't think he sits out. I think he plays on the franchise tag. If worse comes to worse, he plays on the franchise tag. And you know what might happen? It might be the Dak Prescott thing where Dak wasn't on the franchise tag, but they couldn't get a deal done. And then he broke his ankle. And people were like, ha, see? This is what happens when players play on the last year of their contract because they want to be a team player and blah, blah, blah. And the Cowboys should be ashamed of themselves. And the Cowboys were like, you know what? You're right. We're sorry. Here's here's all this money. And guess what? They might. Regret it. So, I, and to be fair, I like Dak, but he's not worth the money that they paid him. And now they have to trade Amari Cooper and let this guy go and cut out, blah, 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 because our quarterback makes all this money to be basically Derek Carr, but a little bit faster. Right. Um, so, if Lamar gets hurt, the people are just give him the money, blah, blah, blah. And then the Ravens don't seem like an organization that's going to be pressured into doing it, which means they'll be like, no. We'll, we'll go back to the negotiation board, but we're not going to give him what he asked for. 
I think this is just the perfect storm of I have no idea what's going to happen. And I think the most likely scenario... I think the most likely scenario is he signs a contract that he doesn't want to sign, but he signs one because it's five years, 200 million or whatever, but only 65% is guaranteed or something. Before the season. Yeah, I don't... I guess nothing's likely. Nothing feels likely to me, but the most likely is probably that. Do you, do you see him playing on the franchise tag? Um, Everybody thinks he could have played in that playoff game, right? Like, it's not just me. More, most people think, like, oh, I think Lamar is healthy enough. And so I think someone came out and was like, Lamar is definitely healthy enough to play, but he just didn't want to play. I right. think he's either going to get traded or he's going to sit. Wow. And just say he gets – so I'll, let me bring up this then. Just say he gets traded or sits. Either way, the Ravens would need a quarterback, even though I had a pro bowler quarterback. What does – or what What do you think Harbaugh does or the Ravens organization for a quarterback situation if he sits slash gets traded? You know, that's an amazing question. I – I – they could – Because if they're not going to give Lamar the money – you got to trade Lamar to get a quarterback in return or trade up Lamar to a team that has a draft pick to get a quarterback. But it doesn't look like that's happening, so what do they do? Are they like, Lamar's going to play with us? We know it. We know it. Right. Their best-case scenario, if they want to trade him, I don't think they do, but if they say, you know what, it's done, we're trading him, I think is the Colts. They get that pick, a couple more firsts, and they draft the quarterback at three or four. Yeah. Four, three, whatever. It'd be Will Levis. Or I think it's are. three or four, yeah. yeah. So, if not... If they if they don't trade him, I think they go with Tyler Huntley, and then maybe with their first pick, no, I think first pick, or the, maybe if they get away with the second, trade back from the first round into the early second, and draft Hendon Hooker or something like just somebody right. to just have in the mix. Yeah, I. That's that's a thing I, that no one's talking about. Like if 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 they trade Lamar, who's their quarterback? I, I know. Marcus I know. Mariota. People, is he a free agent? Did he just sign? I, did he? I'll look that up. One year deal? One year? No. Did he sign a one year deal with the Falcons last year? I thought it was two. No, he got cut. I think. Sick. Well, I didn't ever like that. You liked Mariota because he was a Raider guy, but he's a backup quarterback for the Eagles. So interesting. Yeah, that goes. That's kind of weird. What about Carson once? Yeah, he's in the mix. He's out there. Jacoby Brissett. Right now, right now that bug's moving faster than Lamar. <laughs> You're not kidding. It's now, it's now halfway through here, and if it gets to there, I have to, we have, I have to kill it because it's going to come right above me. All the way, it's, it's going all the way around the room. That's correct. That's funny. It's just, it's, it, you know, it, it's moving at a rapid pace. <laughs> the forty, the thirty. <laughs> Is it really going to stink if I kill it? To be honest, I never killed one to find out, so maybe you should be the first. But how do I, I need like a broom? Usually, I you like um, put it back outside, like through the window that you that you you have a screen on your window. No, yeah, so I do. Put, oh, you do. We have my or flush it down the I toilet. To, we have to take a pause. I have to kill. It's literally gonna come right up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> take my stink bug. Away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I think there's I really think there's four teams in the mix. Okay. I would say Colts, the Falcons, the Titans, and the Patriots. Bingo. Um, okay, so I think I think the Falcons and Patriots have come out and said we're not interested. Okay, sure. Um Oh, can I add one? Sure. The L.A. Rams. Ooh, okay. See, now we're getting spicy. Now, what? Those See, are five teams. Okay, 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 okay. The Rams interest me. Now, a couple days ago, I was sitting, I woke up, getting ready for whatever, and I was like, the Patriots could, I have a vision of the Patriots trading for Lamar Jackson. And I was like, I should make a short about this, but I didn't. 
Then but two hours the later, year, there's the Meek Mill thing. Did you see the Meek Mill thing? Nope. So apparently Meek Mill was like, yeah, I just talked to Robert Kraft and I was like, Lamar wants to be a Patriot. I was uh, like, why didn't I make this short? But then the Patriots came out and said, no, thank you. So yeah. I think there's something there with the Patriots. The Titans are interesting. The Titans feel desperate. I, don't th- I think they know they knew fast. Malik Willis, you're not that guy. The Falcons have said, we, uh, we're going to go with Ritter. Good luck with that. The Rams. Didn't think about them at all. But this is why you're here. They could trade a couple firsts and Stafford. Correct. Stafford can do, interestingly enough, what Goff did for the Lions to the Rams, or I'm sorry, to the Ravens, make Ravens. it pseudo-competitive. Um, they probably have to get a couple wide receivers because for some reason Lamar Jackson has no weapons. Maybe nobody wants to play with them. But we're not going to talk about that. Um, the Rams are interesting. The Rams seem to me... Like the team, not not that's most likely to trade for him, but that's most likely to do something crazy, like give him a guaranteed contract. Right, exactly. Even though there's so a cap I, in the NFL, and, but they somehow never pay attention to the rules. Right. Anyway. So I said those five teams. Well, I think the Patriots, you know, over the last two years, have really changed their offensive playbook to run the running game. And Lamar fits that perfect. Right. Read option, triple threat, whatever you want to do. Wildcat, you know what I mean? He fits that. So I think the Patriots would be a good fit. And they're already used to having, like, no weapons or anything like that. And Lamar can't throw or not as good as Mac Jones, I guess. Um, Titans are desperate. They they really don't have anyone. And their team is still good enough where if, if he was on the team, Lamar, if he was on the Titans – they could win the division again, be competitive, and ultimately they could go to AFC Championship game with Lamar and Derrick Henry in the backfield. Yeah, and, and the, the thing about all those teams you brought up is that they could also, in return, they're solving the problem about who's going to play quarterback for the Ravens. You can give Tannehill exactly. to them. You can give Mac Jones to them. You can give Matt Stafford to them. The Falcons are the only one that, like Desmond Ritter, I, no thank you, I'm good. I'll go with Tyler Huntley. I think... Here's another thing I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, ultimately, if I had to put money on who's going to trade for him, I still think I'd put money on the Patriots, even though they said they're not interested. But that's why I think he's just not going to get traded. But the Rams are sneaky, like you said. Another thing I want to just real fast throw out there, because we talked about this before. Me personally, okay, I'll ask you. Personally, you, just as someone who watches the NFL, where okay. do you hope Lamar is playing next year? Uh, I would love to say the Ravens, but not, I'm not talking about what's what's likely or what you want, what you think is gonna happen. Where do you want to see him play? I want to see him play on a team. I w- I would say the Rams because I want to see him on a team that has offensive threats in all aspects, tight end, running back, receivers, because. The four years he's been on the Ravens, he hasn't had, like, an elite wide receiver. He only had, like, an elite running back that one year with Mark Ingram. And I think people don't give him enough credit because it's, like, the same as Daniel Jones. Oh, he only had 14 pass touchdowns. Look who he's throwing to. All right, Lamar had 15 pass touchdowns, just say. And who is he throwing to? So if you give him, like, Cooper Cup, let's see what he does. Is he worth all the guaranteed money? And I think he might show that he is if, if he played on a team with an elite wide receiver. So not particularly the Rams, but I want to see him on a team within the league receiving court. Okay. I understand where you're coming from. But the reason I asked that question is because where do you think I want to see him play? Las Vegas. No. <laughs> I want him on the Ravens. The uh, reason why is because I don't want – we're talking about precedence being set. I don't want my NBA bleeding into my NFL. I don't want to start this thing where any star MVP player can be like, you know what? I'm kind of sick of living in Detroit. I'd like to go to Miami. And then the owner's like, well, okay, I guess we got to trade him now. Well, and, Le'Veon did that. I know, and it, and it blew up in his face. I think Lamar Jackson is a way better player than Le'Veon Bell. I just don't... I don't think... I, if Lamar gets traded, do I think... 
now this new precedent's going to be set where it's the NBA 2.0? No. But I don't even want any possibility of that happening. So I'd prefer, I'd prefer if the Ravens just said, you know what, I, I'd rather them just give him a guaranteed contract than, than trade him, to be honest. Well, this, this could be over and done with, and he's still on the team. Even if he got traded, I don't think it would happen because the NBA is at to a point where it's like more than all-stars or MVP caliber players doing it. It's like literally every player. Right, it's like the 14th like, guy on the bench. It's like, trade Yeah, exactly. And they're like, who are you? I, I want to, yeah, exactly. The NFL will never get to that. I think Lamar, there's only like 10 people in the NFL who, who could really say that and like have control over that as much as they can. Mm-hmm. And even Lamar's doing it now. If this was the NBA, he would have got traded already two weeks ago. Right. The day he got, he want, he got, he's like, I want to trade. Two days later, he would have been shipped it off. You would have heard like six teams have called the Ravens. It's like, no, yeah, no, but exactly. it's, it's the opposite. It's like, actually, everyone's like, ah, I don't know, this is weird. <laughs> You keep him. Yeah, we're right. good. Yeah, we're okay with Desmond Ritter for sure. Um, yeah, I don't. I think I just again, I don't envy any. I said this last time we talked about this. I don't. I feel bad for Lamar, kind of. I feel bad for the Ravens. I feel bad for Ravens fans. They're in this weird purgatory of. What's it, but it seems happen. like Lamar just didn't even want to play for Baltimore anymore at this point. Well, I think if they gave him the guaranteed deal, he'd be fine playing with them. It's. I don't think. But so is he? Is he? Does he want to play for Baltimore or does he want to play for the deal? Both. <laughs> I think he's he wants to deal more. He doesn't. He could play in Houston. He'll he'll be the worst team in the league. He'd be happy with his guaranteed money. Well, you I know what the beauty. You know what the beauty of all this is. We're gonna find out one way or another. Does he want the deal, True. or does he want to stay in Baltimore? Because I don't yeah. think he's gonna get to do both. I don't think so either. I agree with you. I uh, I got nothing else on Lamar. I wish him nothing but the best. He probably should have an agent. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. I don't know if you got anything else. Do you want to touch on March Madness? What the? March Madness. So we got a nine seed, a four seed, and two five seeds. I uh, I got seven out of eight wrong in the Elite Eight. I actually did pretty decent. Not, I, I think five out of eight. But it was one of the worst, I think, or I got to go over. I think it was four or five out of eight. Are you going to win your thing had, even though you're no, champions? No, Texas out? lost. Well, I Texas know, but does, who has, who has so, UConn winning at all? One of my friends from home. Oh, devastating. So, I this is the first year since, like, the tournament started in, like, just, like, 1972, whatever it was. A one seed had didn't make the lead eight. Like how crazy is that? And I yeah, it is crazy. And I've and I heard a couple people saying like, God, this tournament sucks. I'm like, what are you talking about? Just this this one makes the tournament great, right? Every, you know what it is? It's like people like are upset they didn't win their pool or they don't have a chance or whatever. It's like yeah, that's every single year. Okay, doesn't matter if a one seed wins or a ten seed wins. You didn't pick the one seed that was gonna win, and you're not. You're dang sure not gonna pick the ten seed. So this is awesome. Was I rooting for FAU to lose in the first round of Memphis? Sure. And they just continue to win. So So I I I'm rooting for um San Diego State. Could could that be a final? What San Diego are, State? Are they playing each other? No, San Diego State plays FAU. Wow, so and... one of them one of them's just going to the championship. Yep. Didn't I say didn't I say San Diego State's the type of team that's just gonna like go all the way and it's gonna screw every bracket. Didn't they remember say that? I, I, we were doing our bracket together? I'm like, I'm having San Diego State going far. I mean, I had Miami in the Final Four. They made it. I had made Indiana it. in the Final Four, and then I switched. I think you. I think I. I. I think UConn's gonna win it all, though. They've just been dominating every team. Blew out Gonzaga. Blew out Arkansas. Blew out Iona. Blew out. Are you gonna put to put some money on that? No, because they're like minus 150 to win it all. Not worth it. That, I have money on San Diego State, though. Wow. I'm thinking about putting a dollar on the Pirates to win the World Series. What do you think? Really about dollar it? to win Combillion? <laughs> I mean, I just, like, what if I do that for the next, if I do that for the rest of my life? You make money. <sighs> if they win, if they, you win, you make money. <laughs> yeah, but they need to win one World Series over the next 60 years. I'm going to be down 60 bucks. <laughs> They could do that. Yeah, I would like to think so. But I'm gonna start doing that every season. So I'm Just gonna start with 
Yeah, but the Yankees are like probably like plus three hundred. So put it on the P. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. What if you put it? What if you put ten dollars on the P to win your? Le- I don't know. Let's just check the odds. Let's see. They got to be in the in the last five, right? Oh uh, yeah. What do you think? What is this at? Oh yeah, here we go. Plus, they're probably plus like forty thousand. Oh god. So ten bucks would win you four thousand dollars, or forty thousand. No, four, four, four thousand. All right, MLB. Where are they? MLB. World Series. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, they're. They're third to last. They're twenty four. McCutcheon gave him some juice. Uh, twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. So what's last? Like forty thousand. A hundred thousand. Huh. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, who's really like A's? That's correct. <laughs> so a dollar would win me two hundred dollars. Yeah. Why am I not? Why are we not doing this? Why am I a not spending a dollar on them every so, year? So you can't live to two hundred. So even if they win once in the next sixty years, you win one hundred forty bucks. I don't appreciate you saying I can't live to two hundred. You might, you might. I don't know. <laughs> um, go Pirates. That's tomorrow. What are the Yankees? What are the Yankees? They were like third best odds. Yeah, plus what? I didn't what look. Was a dollar with me like fifty bucks? Do you want me to look? I didn't look. Yep. Oh, Giannis. Giannis is upset. Oh, you know what? Me and my roommate were watched yesterday. We watched Game Four, nineteen ninety eight Finals, Bulls Jazz. The final score was like seventy four to seventy. Yeah, that's like the halftime score now. It was just so much better. It's crazy how much better it was. It was so hard for them to score, but in such a – like every bucket was like, that's a big bucket. Like l- literally every bucket. Yeah, the, like, and then like people now, like would, People night, would cut down the lane and get like bodied and just no call. I'd be like, oh, that's a foul. Nope, no call. They didn't complain. It was just really fun to watch. Crazy. The Yankees are plus eight. Like – And then, then, like, last night, the Warriors scored, like, five points in, like, four seconds. I'm oh, like, we right after watching that game, we put on the Warriors highlights, and it's just like, wow, the lane is just wide open. Yeah, wide open. Because every little thing's a foul. M1, M1, M1. Every or, little thing you, is a foul. <laughs> and then you, you know, touch someone at half court, they're going to take 13 steps, lay up, M1, count it. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. This is not, like, a get off my lawn, like, we're too old people. We're pretty young. And we've been growing up watching the NBA. And most people that are our age agree with us, that the NBA just stinks when it in, in terms of, like, physicality and competitiveness. Most it's not fun agree. to watch unless you root for if you, if you If you love offense or, like, scoring, then you love it. But, uh, but yeah, think about, like, people but, who are, like, j- a little bit younger than us. Like, that's all they know. Yeah, think I about that. Yeah, but I... I I, I do like watching people score. I just think it was it was so cool to watch those old games. They're all on YouTube, where every bucket, like a, a three hit with a minute left, is like that could win the game. Yeah, and I think they need to find like a good medium here, and I think they got something like. I, I wonder what like the high. I think we when we hung out, um. Also, we should probably we wanted to make a show together, but that never happened. Moving on, okay. Next question. <laughs> yeah, like free throws are like attempted like thirteen times today, and then like in nineties, in the nineties, probably like six free throws is like the most in the game. That that's the big difference. I have a solution for that. I think they should just they should not call fouls on like they should not call body fouls when you go up for a layup and then they should give out less technicals because initially when you take a, when you add more physicality people are going to complain more so you shouldn't tee people up unless they like punch people or like bump into a ref <laughs> and there you go so that, i think that's yeah. what you need to do i'm putting a dollar no i'm not doing it. i'll do that later no i'm going to do it right now i'm putting a dollar on the pirates to win the world series dollar to win what you say 200. 200 yep and then you know what else i'm doing because you know what is coming up this week, next week? The second best thing in sports. 
Wait, this week coming up? Next weekend. Next week. What? I'm confused. Next weekend, a thing is happening in sports. That's the second best thing in sports behind March Madness. It's actually a four-day weekend, technically. Four-day... I don't know. The Masters! Oh, that's two weeks already. Holy, wow, I didn't even know that. You're frozen. You're frozen. I'm frozen? Who are you going with? I don't know. I'm looking right no, now. What I do is, for the people watching I probably oh, forgot April coming up. What I do is, I take five bucks, and I distribute it amongst the crowd. So you do a dollar for five people? Right. So, like, Max Homa, if I put a dollar on him, that's 30 bucks. Bang. Winner. Um, I don't... This is always difficult, because... Scotty Scheffler, returning champ, you, you, you can't think he goes back-to-back. Back. No way. No way. Rory McIlroy... Hasn't won in like 10 years. Right, but he's the favorite. Jordan Spieth is fourth. What the? Justin Thomas, Morikawa, Max Homa, Tony Finau. Where's Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods, 55. Is he even playing? 5,500. Dollar. You got to ride a dollar. You got to ride a dollar. Oh, yeah. And then we got people like Brooks Kepka. Forgot about him. And Dustin Johnson. These live guys. They're allowed to play. They're, they suck now. But yeah. Phil Mickelson, there he is. Interesting. Was, was he plus 10,000? <laughs> Try 28. Jesus. So I'm probably, I'm not going to do this right now, but I'm probably going to do, just, just to give the people out there something to look for. But we're doing Justin Thomas, Max JT. Homa, Tiger. Of course. Probably my guy, Kevin Kisner. You probably don't even know who that is. And maybe... I'll do like a long shot. Not like a too, of a, too much of a long shot, but... Well, Kevin Kisner is pretty... It, it's, he's okay, pretty, yeah. Yeah. Where is he? He's 35,000. Yeah, it's perfect. And I'll probably do like... Friggin' more cow or something. I don't know. That's what I do. I take it. Take five bucks. Distribute them. Everyone should do that. Maybe I'll. Maybe we'll. Uh... No, I'm not gonna say that because I always say maybe we'll do this and then never do it. But you know, I think that's it. Lamar, I wish you nothing but the best. Baseball's coming up. I did this last episode. Tomorrow. Andrew McCutcheon, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna shock the world when we win 75 games. No way. 75? Come on. That's still under 500. You win seventy. I'll take seventy. You're honestly. seventy and nine. You're seventy and ninety-two. If we're seventy and ninety-two, that means at the All Star break we're like a couple games over, and we're just feeling ourselves. And the trade deadline, we're like, let's go get a first baseman. Started off hot last year. Started off yeah. hot every year. We'll be like three games over, and then they'll trade Reynolds, and I'll be like, season's over. Wait. Yep. Yeah. You got anything else to say? I don't think so, but like you said, Lamar, I wish you the best. <laughs> you get what you want. We know you're watching. Um, well, this is like the best time. March Madness, the NFL Draft, Masters, it's Baseball. The most it's wonderful time. Pretty much. So we got a lot coming up in all of sports, NBA, NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs. So it's um, – Go Penguins. Go Rangers. No. 